hello my loves and welcome to my channel welcome back if you've been here before today i'm filming both my morning and nighttime routine because i wanted to show you guys the skincare products that i've been using that's been helping my skin my skin is oily combo so i get some oiliness around my t-zone and then the rest is kind of normal i also do have some hyperpigmentation going on i also tend to get acne around my cheeks or my eyebrows so for my skin to look clear you guys it's work so let's get into my morning routine for my cleanser i use the Cetaphil hydrating foaming cream cleanser now this is for dry to normal sensitive skin so you might say we're using drying products <laughs> products that are for dry skin but I find that this cleanser work, works really well for me in the morning in the morning I don't want to use anything harsh on my skin so I tend to use products that are hydrating and helps with protecting my skin barrier so that's why I use that because it is super hydrating on my skin it doesn't feel like I'm stripping anything away and because it's the morning I don't feel like I have a lot to wash away except for I don't know the products I use that night so that's why I like this cleanser for my morning skin here most of the time that is what I'm using for my skin this also has glycerin and vitamin E which are super super helpful in locking in moisture in your skin and leaving your skin feeling soft and hydrated it's also a super gentle cleanser so it's good for sensitive skin and it removes dirt and any oils without really stripping my skin's moisture and that's really what I'm looking for in the morning products that will hydrate my skin and leave it soft but also good for sensitive skin because last year I was getting pimples everywhere like crazy so I'm just very cautious now of what I use in my skin so products for sensitive skin is where it's at. And see look at that you guys look how good it's looking look at that. i'm just so excited because last year it was not looking this good i will try to insert some photos for you guys just so you can see because oh my god i've come a long way okay so my next product i've been trying to get into korean skincare products and so this is something i recently started using maybe a few months ago and this is the Glim Fox 5X Ceramide Heart Leaf Calming Pads. I really like to use this in the morning because it is really cold and it makes me feel so awake, honestly. That's kind of all I use it for. It does also have ceramides and heart leaf extract. And those are also known, products that are known to strengthen your skin barrier. Which, like I said, right? Strengthen my skin barrier because I feel like last year my skin just was not where it was and I think maybe it's because I was using way too many products that did not help so this really helps to soothe my skin and reduce any redness and just calm it down a bit because it is so cooling when you put it on your skin so I will leave that on my skin for a few minutes by the way I just didn't want this video to be too long so this next product I'm using is the good molecules daily brightening serum and this has I'm probably going to mispronounce those words, but it has beta arbutin <laughs> and hyaluronic acid. And as I apply it, look how hydrating it makes my skin look. But this is really good for hyperpigmentation. I've had a good amount of hyperpigmentation around my lips. You can still see some are left, but I've been using this product almost daily to help remove that. It was recommended to my sister by a dermatologist. So I was just like, then it's recommended to me too. <laughs> so, um, And hyaluronic acid is known to hydrate and plump your skin and also reduce the appearance of line. I'm not worried about that right now. Um, but the beta arbutin is what targets hy hyperpigmentation and dark spot and helps to even my skin. So again, I'll leave those products on my skin for a few minutes before I move on to another product. Sometime I will also fan it. And for today's lotion, I'm using Beauty of Joseon Red Bean Water Gel. And what I like about this product is it's super lightweight. Again, for someone with oily skin, especially in my T-zone area, I don't want to use any products that's too heavy, especially in the morning. So the key ingredients in this are red bean extract and peptides. And red bean, red bean extract is known to help control sebum production and it is really good for oily combination skin. So that's the reason I really like this product. But the fact that it's super lightweight, it's also kind of like... A jelly texture it's like a fun texture um, not that that matters but I like that and already you can kind of see how good my skin is looking it's looking plumped it's looking hydrated it's it's just looking glowy you guys don't know how proud I am for my skin right now like I'm just oh my god look at that look at that I'm just like yes girl we've come a long way tears 
Anyways, <laughs> next products I'll be using is sunscreen, so. you guys. Always, always apply your sunscreen. I even walk with tiny sunscreens in my purses now. Before I go outside, I will always wear my sunscreen. And this sunscreen is the Innisfree No White Cast Daily UV Defense Sunscreen with SPF 36. I like this sunscreen, however, I am looking for a new one. I've been using this sunscreen for a while now, but the last one I bought, I noticed that the package said there was some reformulations going on. So I probably won't be using it after this because I just don't like when they reformulate products and I feel like it's not the same since they did reformulate it. I think it used to apply a bit clearer on my skin. This is a different finish also. The first one was more of a matte finish. I don't think I mind the glowy, but it's just it is what it is for now. Um, it does what it's supposed to do, but I'm also looking for a higher SPF. This is only 36. I want 50 or maybe 75. I think that's how high it goes, right? But as you can see, look at my little dance. I'm excited. I love that my skin is looking good. Also, I'm always listening to music, so that's probably why. Okay, so after that, we'll be moving on to my night routine, and I had makeup on that day. The makeup also was not it. I'm looking at it right now, and I'm just like, mm, the lips could have... I don't know what the lips are giving. Anyway, I also don't even know what I was giving, but always putting the hair up because I don't like hair on my face, but I wanted to look cute for the video, so I didn't want to do the most, so I'm just like putting it up for now and then we'll put it down after but anyways you don't care let's move on to the skincare products okay i do look cuter now the makeup looks cuter here okay maybe it's the hair maybe my hair shouldn't have been down that day okay so to remove my makeup you probably know by now i'm always using the nutrium fermented camellia cleansing oil and also if you haven't been using a cleansing oil to remove your makeup start doing that like yesterday because it is so much better so much easier so much cleaner for your skin to use a cleansing oil to remove your makeup rather than wipes i love this one i will rub it on my between my hands first and then apply it from on my skin apply it on my face for like maybe a minute or less just as long as i feel like the makeup is removed i'll just rub it everywhere and then once you do that you wet your hands and then go back to your skin to emulsify the oil. So yeah, you'll add the water back to your skin to emulsify the oil before cleansing it completely because it just makes it so much easier. It also does the instructions, so I'm just following the instructions. What am I doing? <laughs> Dunking my head, okay. Um, for my cleanser, also I'm always using, for my nighttime cleanser, I'm most likely using the La Roche-Posay Pigment Clar Brightening Filming Cream Cleanser. I've been using this for almost two years now. And it's really good for hyperpigmentation. My friend worked at a dermatologist at that time and she recommended it to me. And I never looked back. I don't think I'll ever stop using this cleanser. It's so good. It makes me feel like it's stripping everything bad away from my skin. Um, the key ingredients in this cleanser are LHA, which stands for lipo lipohydroxy acid and glycerin. So LHA is known to exfoliate your skin and promote cell renewal and fade dark spots, which was exactly why I bought this when my friend was like, it's good for your dark spots and hyperpigmentation. I was like, say less. Um, it also brightens your skin by targeting the hyperpigmentation. especially. So it's really good, especially for people with uneven skin tone and dark spots and when I was t when I tell you last year I my skin was a mess I don't know what was happening like you see how my skin is looking right now it, it's just you've seen the picture I'm sure I added some pictures for you guys to see before so you'll see what I mean so for my nighttime routine I focus a lot on products that help with dark spots and hyperpigmentation so that's also why you need sunscreen the next day. But I like to use these products at night because I think they can be a little harsh for your skin. So I don't want to wear them and then go out in the sun because that's going to increase my sensitivity to the sun and we don't want that. So this is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. And I use this product specifically on my dark spots. You can also use it over all your skin. And I think I do that sometimes. I might do that in this video. But sometimes I will literally just go on the spots where I have dark spots or hyperpigmentation rather than using it all over my skin. If my face is looking particularly clear in a specific spot, I'm probably not going to apply it there. Um, camera's out of focus. Okay, guys, you see my skin? Like, I'm... 
I'm just mind blown. Like it's so it looks so good here. It just looks so good. I'm not I'm not like bragging. I'm just really happy because it just wasn't always like this, especially last year. Like two years ago, I started breaking out out of nowhere and it did not stop. They would go and come back like a week after or even a few days after and my skin was just so bad. I hated it. I was so sad. Um, but this product is really good for dark spots, uneven skin tone or hyperpigmentation. Um, the salicylic acid and they're also help to prevent pimples and blackheads. So it's just... That's also a holy grail product for me. I'm never going to stop using this Paula's Choice product. I actually have two right now because I bought one out of my own money and then I was buying more products from Paula's Choice because that brand, by the way, is so good. I was buying some products for my skin, also like my body care, and they sent me a free one. So I have a full size waiting for me once this one is over. So I'm just really happy. For my lotion, I've been using this youth youth to the people superfood air whip moisture cream and i actually started using this a few weeks ago because i got it um from my points at sephora that's how you know i be there too much <laughs> um, but i really like this at night and the only reason i still have it although it's a simple is because i use it only at night and because when i discovered it and i did it to my skin i was just like whoa this is so good it is super lightweight but yet it feels super hydrating and I just, that's kind of it for me. Like, I feel like once I add it to my skin, my skin just looks so much more plumped and hydrated. And yeah, what's not to love about plumped, hydrated, clear skin, you know? For my lip products, I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And this really helps to moisturize your lips. And it helps it stay moisturized overnight. Like, the entire night, I wake up with, like, luscious <laughs> lips and... <laughs> That's kind of all I need in life, you know, beautiful, luscious lips or whatever. Um, and for my next product, although it's not on the screen yet, I've been trying to grow my eyebrows and lashes, especially after I stopped getting lash extensions. My lashes just look so sad. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. It's supposed to help you grow thicker, fuller lashes and brows. I haven't started using it on my lashes yet because there's this product in certain brow serum or lash serums that will make your under eyes look red or your veins pop out so weird. So I haven't used it yet. Although The Ordinary says they don't have that product in it, but I'm just still cautious. Anyways, you guys, this is it. My morning and night routine. Let me know what you think and bye. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you're having a great morning, day or night. Laters.